Yeah. I mean, it wasn't meant to be technically long. All right. Because it was just a birthday thing. Yeah, this is... This is going to have me testing the uh, recording function for uh, Streamlabs itself. Because <laughs> instead of trying to download everything straight from stream uh, Twitch, I'm going to see... This is a recording function on Streamlabs. Uh, so I'm going to see if maybe that works pretty well, and then I can just have it immediately without having to worry about Twitch. <laughs> Which would be great. But yeah, I love the idea of a little surprise party. Because that just sounds so fucking adorable. I thought part of the um, of our actual discussion should be uh, in the planning hmm. of, uh, of Hazel's birthday. Okay, we can start on that. Obviously, Monday is running distraction, or fig, depending on how chaotic you want the distraction to be. <laughs> Let's be I'm, honest. I'll be honest. I'll leave that decision to you. It'll probably be Monday. They're in the same room. It's it's easier. Okay. Monday will be distractions for you. Be, uh, you immediately... Uh, the morning of Hazel's birthday, you immediately begin... Uh, texting all of the members of his team and some of his friends. Um, who do you include? I'm including. I'm assuming you're going to include uh, um, Monday, Josh, and Big. Obviously. Do you want to include Scott? Yes. Who is a friend of Hazel's? Yeah, they hang uh, out. That's include, fine. Wait. Do you want to include anyone from your team, like yes. Mofon or anyone else? You already read my mind. I'm going to I'm going to include Mofon. I'm going to have Riley help me set up because Riley's fucking tall and can probably not need even need a ladder to reach some of this shit for like streamers or balloons or any shit like that. Okay, gotcha. Um, um let's Monday see. also suggests that there is a um what is it called? Uh a bit of a there is a um there are a few places that would be nice for Hazel's birthday. Uh, Hazel uh, obviously loves the arcade, um, but he also, uh, what's it called? There's a little gazebo that's just out and around uh, to the left of the front gate um, that uh, Hazel and Monday like to hang out sometimes. And it's got a big enough space that- That's um, so dorky serve as a little space for a bunch of people. Hazel prefers to just be outside anyway, so it makes sense for him to go out there um, and hang out. And that could be a good spot to set up for a party. Or you can do it in the common room. You can set up for movies and such. Um, or you can, uh, you know, go out to the arcade and just have a party in the arcade. Um, I think you have to have reservations for that sort of thing. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm assuming that you're doing this ahead of time. Fig is the one who suggests the arcade. Monday suggests the outside. And you sort of think to yourself that uh, the common room would also be nice. So, depends on where you want to go. Hmm. <laughs> Let me weigh the pros and cons of each. Because Lyra would also suggest maybe, like, the beach near that lighthouse. That would be That would be nice, too. But that's more like personal kind of date. that's more of a yeah, personal kind of a setting personal for the date. two of them yeah they'll go back every year and throw glitter bombs off the lighthouse <laughs> ah public disturbance the the best date <laughs> um all right so she is gonna ask veronica for her help but only for like prepping baked goods because she She's going to need assistance in the kitchen. Let's be honest. First time she tried, she rolled a grand total of 12. It turned out kind of burnt. I just rolled um, survival. Like, uh, you're assuming a lot. She has cooking skills. I just assumed two better than one. Give me one second to bring up my sheet so I can roll real quick. Yeah. What, what, did, she, what did she survival. roll? <laughs> Roll me survival to see how well that you can do. Uh, I'm just telling you straight up, she has a plus zero to her survival. She has a plus so, zero to wisdom? Uh, 
Yeah, because she didn't. She doesn't have that many good stats. Her, her wisdom isn't the best. She has a lot in intelligence. How's a fourteen? Okay, ish. Not you, make a, you make some decent food. <laughs> it's not. It's not as burnt as the ones you usually make. Hey, she tries. Okay. Semi it's semi decent. Uh, you got some cooking lessons from good old uh, from Josh. Does he like to cook? Yeah, of course he does. Amazing. Maybe I should have just mm -hmm. asked him instead, but he. <laughs> Yeah, you no. Know, you get into the kitchen uh, with Josh, and he helps you bake it. Um, to bake a full-on cake. Um, well, I, I make a little... I make a small cupcake, and because I'm gonna put everything she got for him aside, uh, in his room probably for afterward. No. Uh -huh. What? No. Mm -hmm. Bad. You you do what you like. That's what you want. Because if, on the off chance, nobody else, like, picked up a gift or anything, she didn't want to seem like the only person with it. But she wants to do that in private. Justin's thinking that none of, the, none of his friends are getting gifts. Well, I don't know. She just doesn't want to really... She's not good at giving gifts, and she doesn't want a crowd when she does it, okay? Okay. That's fine. Just like last time, she's just very uncomfortable because she doesn't know if it's good or not. Yeah, that's fine. Besides, uh, one of her gifts was her telling him what she found out about his heritage. Yeah. Well, gift. <laughs> I had to roll to see if she would even tell him. Um, so you begin your planning. Um, We're gonna do it in the so gazebo, by the way. You're gonna do it in the gazebo? You're planning for the gazebo? Yep. Okay. Outside. Just a nice little sunny area, I assume. Mm hmm Um, let me do something real quick. I'll invite, like, Jin and Hans if they want to come. They don't have to, but... Um... Uh... I smell garlic bread. Why this always keeps breaking? Hey! That's super duper annoying. Stop, stop licking your paw. You have to keep the bandage on. Okay, baby. Good boy. Side is quite cloudy. Um, we're not getting like all of the rays of sun out, uh, since the clouds sort of block a bit of it, but it's not too bad outside. It's like a perfect nice. day, though. A little cloudy, yeah. not too much sun. Nice Gloria cool. burns like a lobster. <laughs> <laughs> that would be yeah, awesome. it's nice. Nice and cool outside. Uh, you got some good winds. Yeah, it's fall, isn't it? Technically. Yeah. Uh, some nice cool breeze. Mm. Some would even say a bit cold. Uh, so you may want to put on a sweater. Like myself, Lyriel enjoys the cold weather. At most, she will have a long sleeve shirt and a scarf. Okay. Uh, you see that others are also dressing. Uh, kind of warm, um, and the usual boy is oblivious, and Monday is running a very good distraction. Um, <laughs> is there it anything helps. else? That... <laughs> yeah, it, it helps that he is completely oblivious. Love him for that. Absolutely sunshine boy. Completely oblivious to everything. Mm -hmm. Um... 
is there anything uh, so you're just like decorating and preparing uh your own little pizza. you guys decorate and prepare your own little party get up you get you order some pizza um and you know uh benny mateo delivers it himself oh it's always it's, nice to see benny good old benny uh delivers it hand delivers you guys some dish um I asked and... Zog for another glitter bomb. Mm. <laughs> Give me charisma. Shh, just charisma roll or per or persuasion? Babe? Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Hi. Can you hear me? Yes. I said persuasion. Okay. Using persuasion. Uh, how is a 15? A 15 sounds better than his uh, wisdom. So, yeah, you're good. <laughs> um, he reluctantly hands you a glitter bomb. But before he does, he goes, wait. Well, I mean, I'm happy to give you one. Just want to make sure I know why. So that someone else doesn't ha come after my ass. Oh, she's just going to have Riley chuck it in the air uh, after the sun goes down for Hazel's birthday. So everybody can experience the fireworks slash glitter bomb. Sure. That's all. She just wants a little flash. So to speak. Not an actual flashbang. That might give Monday PTSD. <laughs> I mean, I've got a bunch of extra flashbangs. No! It would be much brighter than a glitter bomb. No, we're not trying to give Monday PTSD. I mean, you're not. <laughs> Poor Monday. <laughs> he didn't even do anything. <laughs> he got hit in the face with a flash bomb. Oh, man. Uh, this school. Uh, is there any other setup you'd like to do for, for you to, with just decorations and pizza and all um, the friends together? Does this pavilion have outlets? Electrical outlets. No, fortunately. It's a bit far away from any sort of electrical outlets or any place that electrical outlets can be. Um, and usually it's used to just, uh, to just hang out away. Okay. Some people would, like sit there on their phone, but mostly like... Volleyball um, net. Volleyball net? Yeah. Nearby? Or just uh, if there's enough grass space, just set, just set one up. There's, there is absolutely enough grass space to set up a ball. Riley is not um, allowed to play because that's an immediate advantage to whoever's team she's on. <laughs> Can't hear you. Yeah, that's not going to work. I'm not talking. So. Oh, okay. I thought I heard static like you were trying to talk. Nope. Uh, do you know what you mean? Hey, relax oh, yourself. Oh, it was a... He ate a bug. Ew. Okay, sure. Whatever. It was a fly, so... Gross! That's funny. <laughs> At least he can Good. catch them. Good. At least he's catching and eating bugs that I don't want in he's my home. He's doing something. He's doing his part. Eating insects. <laughs> Yeah, fuck him. Fuck him. I hope he leaves the spiders alone. Fuck those insects. Yeah, the spiders also eat the insects. Yeah. Fuck those That's other why insects. why I like them. Fuck those other insects. All, those other, all my homies hate those other insects. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that's a little bit of a physical way that people can warm up if they want. 
Or if somebody has badminton rackets, they could do a little badminton. I fucking love badminton. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, you set up a bit of a volleyball outside. Uh, Whoever has Monday Ariel even... on their team will absolutely have a detriment. <laughs> Monday even suggests uh, he's got a grill that he can bring out. Like, oh, what? Um, he, he, instead of ordering pizza, Monday can get a grill from his dad. Um, and he can start grilling like burgers and, and hot dogs. Why not porcano los dos? Porcano los dos? Porcano I mean, that's a lot of food and some very different food. Sure. Uh, Why the so fuck possible. not? Yeah. There's a good number of people. Maybe not everybody wants some pizza. It's only like one or two boxes of pizza. Okay. It's just going to be great. Oh, is, is Monday going to bring it or is Billy going to drop it off? Billy's going to drop it off. It's always good to see Billy. We don't see enough of Billy. Giant yeah. minotaur man with a southern accent. Yeah, he's a big guy. Isn't he, his own Is he like eight foot something? Yup. But you guys never visit his store all that often. On time. I don't really know if he has anything that pertains to what we're looking for. I mean, if we have an off day, I might drop in just to say hi. But... Remember, Billy's always there during the day. Yeah. Monday's always there during the night. Eh. I mean, like, if Leroy ended up dating... Monday, we would have seen a lot more of Billy probably because she'd be over there more. She'd have a reason to be. But no, she would have to go every couple of days to buy more candied good berries because Nova's plows through them like crack. Crack oh. cocaine. No. Hmm? Candied good berries are what uh, berries must eat. They need the sugar. She could have literally any other sugar, but it's like crack. Is it crack that or smoking? <laughs> is it? Is it, it is. <laughs> that is the good sugar. Oh, the man. The semi-healthy sugar. Semi-healthy. <laughs> hey, it gives you HP back, so it has to be somewhat healthy, right? Kind <laughs> of. But, um, yeah. No, she'll bring Novus along. Novus can... I don't know fuck around and find out i guess uh you guys all set up um you get a cookout ready um shit how's monday gonna bring him back because hmm. oh he's just gonna um he wants to go hang out they usually hang out by that uh by that area anyway what do they do just chill they just chill outside Shoot the breeze in the breeze. Monday must have either some incredibly strong suntan lotion or an umbrella. Porcano los dos. It is good to have a backup. Mm hmm I, I only found out about UV umbrellas because I read a lot of um, Korean like beauty websites. Apparently this is things they do in Asia to keep the sun off their skin so that they don't get too dark. I was like, oh. And I learned about those, I was like, oh, I wonder if Monday has one of those. A fucking UV umbrella. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Can't be too safe. Um, so yeah, uh, you guys all set yourselves up um, and prepare to have a happy birthday. If you want, uh, if you're trying to surprise him, I'm going to need you to roll stuff. I don't know how the fuck we could, because we're out in the open, but just to humor you, I will roll a stealth for you. <laughs> how am I got how is a nineteen, babe? I actually have a plus two to stealth. Yeah, I rolled a seventeen, plus two is nineteen. I can do simple math. I doubt his insight <laughs> or perception. Mm -hmm. His perception is very poor for one And for another, uh, I was rolling a group stealth for your allies. Yeah, they all passed. Oh, super! It would have made up for my awful stealth roll. I mean, your stealth roll was a 19. Well, my assumed awful stealth roll. I always assume she's going to fail stealth. But I also, <laughs> there's also, like, this is the fun fact that he probably just is not expecting this in any way, shape, or form. Uh, so you see Hazel and 
they're both just walking up uh, to the gazebo. Excellent. <laughs> Someone's hiding, like, figs, like, on the roof of the gazebo. <laughs> <laughs> we, we've levitated her up there. <laughs> Riley's pretending to be a tree. <laughs> Mofon is <laughs> literally pretending to be a tree. He is the wind. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I, uh, Lyriel will probably wait till they pass and then, like, sneak up behind them and then get him from behind. To, just to to start the, you know, happy birthday shit. Okay. Uh, so you go do exactly that. Um, tell me how that plays out for you. All right. So it's past the gate, right? So they're gonna have to walk past the gate of the school. Yeah. She was hiding behind the gate. <laughs> okay. And as soon as they walk past, she just starts like quietly walking behind. And as soon as he gets close enough to the gazebo, that's when she's gonna jump him. <laughs> Right from behind. Make that poor boy jump right out of his skin. Not only does he jump out of his skin, but you hear this sh a still scream from Monday <laughs> as he's absolutely terrified. Like, <laughs> Lyril just ha gives him, like, a, like, this evil grin and uh, side eye. Uh, like, she... <laughs> this is... Lyril will remember this. <laughs> Evil, evil smile. She she knows a secret now. Didn't scare me like that, little lady. <laughs> she okay. Actually, you know what happened? She's on the ground. She's laughing too hard. <laughs> and then Fig can jump up from the roof and just start shouting "Happy birthday!" You know what? Fuck it. Josh is she up does. there too. She does, and everyone begins saying "Happy birthday" around uh, Hazel. <laughs> he is. Completely taken aback. <laughs> She's still and on the also floor. just frightened of you of how well you stealth. Hey, look. Okay, <laughs> you're not the only one that can be quiet stepped. <laughs> uh... <laughs> <sighs> He's very, but he is still kind of like smiling and happy about it. He goes, oh. "She planned all this for me, huh?" She's. She's still on the floor. She's still on the ground. Hold on a minute. She's gotta get she kinda, the She kind of goes down and like picks you up while you're still laughing and gives you her, a kiss. Her cheeks hurt. <laughs> and it's not just the scar. She's. <laughs> it was the scream that just sent her over the edge. <laughs> Monday screaming like a little girl is what absolutely like sent her into a fit. <laughs> be honest. Uh, because he knew that you guys were there, I made him roll his perception. Actively roll his perception. He rolled a nat one. Monday? Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Hazel at least got a seven. Oh, which, you my know, baby boy. Great, but, you know, could be better. Monday rolled a nat one, which he has a stupid good perception, but a nat one. He screamed uh, like a little girl. He screams like a little girl, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I can't wait to draw that. Oh, man. <laughs> Does he, like, do a little jump back and pull his arms to his chest like like he saw a fucking mouse or something? Yes. <laughs> as small as she is, she may as well be a mouse. <laughs> oh, uh, with that kind of scream, I half expected him to jump into Hazel's arms. <laughs> oh. What's Scooby doing, Shaggy? Yes! <laughs> uh, my actual mouth hurts from laughing so much from this. <laughs> God damn it. Thank you, Dice. Uh, hey, you. Uh, just because just Baxter's barking doesn't mean you gotta bark. Hey! But yeah, uh, Hazel sort of grabs you up and you carry, and you know, it's just like, oh, thanks. Um... I was not expecting this. Also, 
When did you get so quiet? I have my mom. A... Bell on I need me. to put a bell on you. You're going to put a collar on me, are you? Maybe later. Oh. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> but I can be quiet when I want, when I really, you know, uh, focus on it, I guess. Or I'm just lucky sometimes. <laughs> you sure you didn't want to go for rogue? Um, I don't think... I... As tiny and quiet as you are, <laughs> I mean, good rogue. if Scott can be 6'5 and be a rogue and be stealthy and sneaky, I guess I could at 5'5. Five five. I'm a great rogue. <laughs> yes, yes, very much so. She rubs the back of her head. I'm <laughs> <laughs> uh, a great rogue. That's why I can hide at anywhere at any time. Where did Scott hide? And, uh, did anybody actually uh, see where he hid, or did he just go? Did he just fucking disappear? I rolled his uh, his hide check. Um, you hear those sounds coming from Mofa as he walks up towards you guys. You hear Scott's voice coming from Mofa, uh, and then you 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 feel Scott tap uh, tap you on the head, and as Hazel turns. Uh, you see that Scott is right behind him. Yes, wonderful, great rogue, yes, the best. <laughs> That's a little trick called using thaumaturgy to throw your voice on someone else. It does scare people. It was very work. weird hearing you coming from him. <laughs> nope. Yeah, no, it scares people every once in a while. I don't, Fun trick. I don't think I know thaumaturgy. I know prestidigitation, but that's only good for, like, spills and cleaning because then i never have to clean <laughs> 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 totally not lazy i promise <laughs> i don't you clean much anyway who said that veronica <laughs> oh she actually showed up you said that she would oh i thought we were do prep work at the um dorm room because she doesn't want to ever really be anywhere fig is <laughs> She'll be here for this, regardless of Fig. I keep my room clean. I can't help it if Novus makes messes when I'm not there. Sure you do, babe. <laughs> hey! <laughs> that I one's from Hazel. <laughs> I know. Knowing how messy you are. <laughs> she's not. She's not that messy. She doesn't even. You know. Really... He knows. She, He's she, just trying to give you a hard time. She pinches him. In the chest. Get him right in the nipple. Because he... Question mark? No, it's just a playful pinch. Because kno okay. she knows he's messing with her. Because she, she knows she's not messy. And she just gives him a little pinch. <laughs> Sticks her tongue out. Um, she's she's an adult. <laughs> she's an adult. That's why she sticks her tongue out as a rebuttal. Yes, exactly. <laughs> um, you guys move over to the gazebo and begin, you know, sitting down, having some foods. Um, Monday, uh, Monday, and uh, what's it called? Um, Josh. William actually. Oh, no, William. Um, Billy actually stays. Um, because this is his girl, and he doesn't trust other people with his girl. Not even <laughs> hey, him, so. I know how Texans can be with their girls. That is their babies. I do not blame him. Yeah, no. I mean, the girl ended up some her eggs. Um, even some corn on the cob. Oh, God, yes, grilled corn on the cob. Mm -hmm. Does he have any stuff to put stuff. on top of the corn on the cob? Maybe some cayenne, some... Oh, you know it. Uh, and yeah. for the hot... And for the hot dogs, he's got refried beans and relish. Oh. Oh. Yeah. You're making you know, me he hungry. How, he knows how to get the good fixings in. Oh, babe, you know you're going to have to give me a physical description for Benny and a better description for um, William. 
because they're gonna because they're because Benny drops stuff off, so he's gonna actually have to be shown unless he's just a disembodied hand that just <laughs> places disembodied hand that just places uh, pizza um, down and then leaves. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, Benny Mateo is not uh, is not originally my character. He's a friend of my character that played in a different campaign that I uh, that I have. I think I have his description. If anything, you can just make it up, or I can make it up. Uh, I want to go by uh, my friend's description, so I'll go grab his description at some point and send it to you. All right, darling. Um, I appreciate it. William is at least my character. I'll I'll send you his description as well. Thank you. Um, Yeah, you guys, you know, hang out, have a good time. Uh... Uh, Hazel kind of looks at the volleyball net every once in a while. And just like, do you, you want to play a game? I you can't guarantee that I won't get hit in the face <laughs> 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 when I try to hit the ball. I'm very small, but I will, I will play if you want me to. <laughs> That's completely fine. Riley's uh, not allowed guys, to play. Like, Riley adamantly. Look, Riley, you tower over everyone here with the exception of William. She towers over you and is like. She puts her hands I on really her hips will. and splays her legs. She towers, o- she towers over you and is just like. But I want to play against Fig. She she just puts her hands on her hip and just cranks her head back. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you and Fig play a round of badminton after we're done playing volleyball? Because then it can be one-on-one instead of a team game where you have to rely on other people to score points. Hmm? No. I want to play against Fig. No, that's what I'm saying. She needs to be on a team. Why? You don't think... Do you think... Because you, then it's more fun. Fig, what, do you think Fig can't beat you on her own? She looks back at Fig. She looks back at you. She leans down. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that underestimation is going to uh, probably bite you in the ass. <laughs> Just saying. But uh, to be honest, you do kind of tower over everyone here, and it doesn't really make it fair for some of us who have to uh, actively jump almost twice our height to reach the net. <laughs> well, how about this then? Uh, me and Fig versus you and Hazel. You guys are uh, Hazel's pretty tall, and you're pretty short. Fig is the shortest person here, <laughs> and I'm the tallest. You are still about a whole foot over Hazel. Also, um, two physical classes versus one physical class and me. Uh, probably not. I've got a negative one in athletics, babe. (laughs) You forget. I've got a negative one in strength. It'll be fine. We'll see. (laughs) All right. Uh, hold on. Let me pull out a better die. (laughs) Let me pull out my lucky <laughs> die. If you want to warm up, you can go up against uh, Josh and Monday. Sure. <laughs> Why Josh not? and Monday kind of look at you. They go, oh, that will not be easy. And both of them uh, look at each other for a moment, then look back at you. They tear away both of their pants and are wearing the shorts. <laughs> <laughs> the are you nasty You have shorts? no idea what you're getting into. <laughs> My god, you are pale everywhere, aren't you? Hey, that's just how it is for vampires. She, like, shields her eyes. Oh my god, I thought I was pale. <laughs> <laughs> Why were you wearing those under your pants? We always are. <laughs> really? She looks at Hazel. Are you? Uh, no, this is just a them thing. <laughs> are they nasty? Fuck <laughs> 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 you. 
looks back at the fix you. I guess. <laughs> she gives like a very uncomfortable shrug. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Are they wearing the tank tops? Yes, of course. <laughs> is, is is Monday wearing the meowdy partner? <laughs> of course. <laughs> ready <laughs> what uh i have several questions um not sure if i want the answers but let's go i guess uh, so the both of them get ready uh you can give me athletics or acrobatics so acrobatics oh i can give you acrobatics i have a plus two to acrobatics yeah. If you prefer to use acrobatics, because I know you have four athletics, so I'll let you. Keep I rolled acrobatics. a fifteen. I saw that. I saw it go right to five, and then it turned over. I was like, <laughs> close. <laughs> oh, I almost uh, got a seven. This will be a group thing, so it also depends on whether or not Hazel does well, and yeah. Hazel doing well also depends on me not fucking. Well, he's is dex based, so. That but then true. again, you're a bastard, so... Yeah, that is also true. <laughs> and both Monday and... Uh, and Josh are actually very good at this. Well, I mean, they've got the pants. Mm-hmm. And the bod. Don't want to think about that. Don't underestimate them. <laughs> Don't want to think about it. Not thinking about that. Not thinking about it? All right. Not at all. Look, Lyriel made her choice earlier this, this, <laughs> this, uh, hey, quit licking your paw. Knock it off. Semester, and she's got to stick with it. Not thinking about it. Mm, that's unfortunate for you guys. Uh, did somebody roll a nat 20? Yeah. Was it, and was it Monday? Do I, do I want to? Fuck Hazel over. No, actually. It was Josh? <laughs> Josh rolled a nat 20. Nice. He's out here. <laughs> He's out here, which makes uh, his roll a 25. <laughs> what, does he have a plus 5 to dex or athletics? He has proficiency in um, because he's an athlete. Oh, really? Yep. Uh, both Josh and Monday, well, they don't play, uh, well, Monday doesn't play any sport professionally, but Josh is actually on the baseball team. Nice! Yeah. For the school? Yeah. Well, if they ever play, we're gonna have to have, I'm sure, his team and Lyriel will come cheer him on. What position mm -hmm. does he play? Um, he plays... He plays third baseman, and he also uh, is good up to bat. Nice. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Mm -hmm. He's not the pitcher, unfortunately. He's not good enough to be pitcher. It happens. Um, and also, your boy... Yeah, this is not looking good for you guys. Uh, Monday rolled an 18 Okay, I rolled a 15. Uh, and Hazel rolled... I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna... Because they did so well. Hazel rolled a 26. What? Oh, did he roll like an 18? He got a 19. He has a plus 20? 7 in his acrobatics. Oh. Wait, I thought he had a plus... Wait, no, 18 would be a plus 4, yeah. Mm hmm Oh, and I guess if he has proficiency, it'd be like 1 or 2 more. Yeah, he's got proficiency in acrobatics. So, of course. Flexible boy. Yeah, very flexible. Hmm. <laughs> mm. Well, I did uh, do the best. They definitely outrolled me. I mean, you still did well for uh, your game. You, you know, got in there and you did pretty averagely well. It's just that you are up against people who are definitely uh, both Josh and Monday are more athletically built and they both play sports together. 
uh, even though Monday's not on the teams, um, like he plays sports with uh, Josh in his free time, and so does Hazel. So they're just better prepared for this whole thing, and they're much more used to uh, this activity. But you still put is, on a good show. Muriel is absolutely not the person you want playing sports. <laughs> It's not, yeah. and other than the fact that she has been basically in three rooms her entire life, for well, yeah. most of her life. You uh, basically uh, like, even though, um, even with this sport, you're kind of new to it still. Um, so sometimes you mess up on the rules a little, um, but for the most part, you actually do pretty well, and you actually get the hang of it right through, and you're actually having a good time. Um, even though Josh, uh, Josh and Monday are stupendously good at this sport, and Josh is crushing it in the game, um, they're kind of like they're, they they are, do go much easier on you guys, um, especially on you, um, and they like try to just make it fun uh, and um, let you guys have a good time. I keep getting Hazel's distracted also. by their fucking shorts. <laughs> Hazel does his best. He actually outdoes uh, Monday in the game. Um, can't do. He almost does better than Josh. Almost, and they're like close, but uh, Josh ends up like really outperforming and outpacing everyone. Uh, but he does actually have a really good time. Um, afterwards. <laughs> Uh, what's their, uh, both Riley and Fig, uh, come up and they're like, all right, we got winners. <laughs> and they got winners? Oh, okay, so we get to watch them fight Monday and Josh. Yeah. <laughs> Lyriel gets off the court and then kind of just falls <laughs> on the grass. She's a little winded. She falls uh, off. Hazel kind of lays on the grass with you. Looking up at the sky. Yeah, that's exactly how she <laughs> collapsed, making sure she didn't hit her face. Ugh. Both of you kind of sweaty from all the activity. Oh no, Lyriel is red-faced and very sweaty. <laughs> this is not her usual uh, activities. Yeah, you're just, you're just winded. <laughs> Let me do a con save. What is my constitution save? Plus five. Okay. What do I get? Uh, that's a dirty 20. She doesn't stay winded for too long. I thought it was going to be a seven. Oh, God. Oh, that would have been a 12. That's not too bad. She doesn't, she doesn't do awful. She manages to recover a little bit after... Laying in the grass. She's just invigorated from remembering how cool Hazel looked during all those spikes and junk. <laughs> uh, oh, she loves watching him, like, I guess, perform, technically. Oh, yeah. And he definitely performed. He did really well. Nice. Very active. Very strong. Love it. You love to see it. You love to see that boy doing his best. Literally, she <laughs> loves to see it. <laughs> he kind of looks over you. <sighs> <sighs> Do you want to grab something to eat? Maybe some food? Hell After all yes. that? <laughs> I need water in my face. On my face? In, yeah. in the mouth. Yes. Veronica and Mofon both come over. Um, Veronica actually just drops water on uh, on Hazel's head. <laughs> it's just... <sighs> you guys look winded as hell. But you did good. No, I need to... My face not hit... She just, like, shoves her head next to his so she can get some of the water. <laughs> <laughs> Mofon kind of comes over and splashes you both with water as well. Oh god, yes. Oh, that's the good shit. Ah, I wish I you not to water, Janasi. <laughs> oh, I am not. I am. 
but I can do this. And he uh, lets his dragon out, curls around his entire body, and his its head sort of rests on his uh, arm, and it begins to blow cold water at both of you. <laughs> I mean, cold like... wind at the both of you. Not Ooh, water, wind. I bet that feels cool really wind. nice. Some cooling wind. Yeah. It's the peppermint breeze. Cool wind. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's spearmint. Ah, uh, oh, better. Mmm, <laughs> spearmint. Uh, but yeah, you guys, you know, relax, grab some food, and watch the next uh, volleyball match. As you do, you see, uh, it looks like Josh is fully winded. From his last match, he really put it, put it all out. He left it all out on the field in that last one. So he's not doing as good in this one. He's definitely, like, tired uh, from putting up such a good fight from the first one. Um, in the end, though, he does actually uh, still perform pretty well. Um, but he's definitely, like, he's doing the worst of the... Uh, of the uh, of the three of them, even uh, athletes get tired. It's fine. Yeah, he gets pretty exhausted after a while. Um, Riley, Riley, however, is crushing it. Well, Riley um, is absolutely fresh, <laughs> rearing she is to go. Fresh. She is a giant, and she is really putting up uh, some good plays. Uh, making sure she's taking it. She's noticing that Josh is like sort of winded and taking advantage of that. Abs she um, absolutely would take advantage of that. However, whenever Josh, uh, whenever it seems like uh, she can use Josh as a weak link, Monday is coming in and she is fully, uh, where Josh is like falling, Monday is propping him up and like keep in like carrying. He's doing very well in this game. Um, but, as Fig. well as all three of them are doing. Fig. <laughs> Fig! Fig is an animal this round. <laughs> I love her. I Lyriel doesn't know who to cheer for. Fig is full bestial this time. She is uh, putting in the work. She's really pushing it and trying hard. Um... <laughs> She does better than Riley. Uh, Jesus and at Christ. Times, and at times is nearly beating uh, is nearly beating Monday. Um, God damn. <laughs> Fig's in beast mode. <laughs> Fig goes into beast mode. She's ready. Um, in the end, uh, Fig and Monday are kind of like neck and neck doing their best. And uh, in. Cut out, babe. Hmm. I wonder if his internet went out. Uh, and Fig and Riley win their match. Darling. Because, uh, Riley not finish, uh, uh, hello? Darling. Hello. You cut out hello? and turn into a robot. Hello? Oh, that's did the quite important. All I heard was uh, Fig is in full beast mode, and then something about Monday. Uh, Fig and Riley end up um winning their match. Um, Fig and Monday are both neck and neck. They are complete even when it comes to you know their skill and how much they're putting out in the field, and they do incredibly well. Um. But Riley takes enough advantage of um, of, of Josh's uh, winded weakness and gets in enough scores that they win that they end up winning because of it. That was in the end. Yeah, that Josh. Was Josh was, <laughs> yeah, Josh was a little too much of a weak link at, 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 in the second round. He wasn't able to really pull out uh, all of the stops like he did in the first one. He put too much into the first one. Uh, at the end, 
uh, Josh and Monday sort of like walk off, get themselves some meat and a drink, and they just hang out. Uh, in their shorts. You see, yeah. Uh, Riley throws big in the air as they win. <laughs> They're just like, MVP, MVP, MVP. <laughs> Uh, and they just have a, and they cheer and have a good time. Um, and Daryl you go, just you turns guys to Hazel things. and goes, I love your team. <laughs> uh, and you guys like all just, you know, get together, have some food, have some drinks. Um, you guys play a bit of cards, uh, after a while, some Uno. Ooh, um, they play spades? <laughs> um, sure, yeah. You, um, Scott brings out a deck of his car, uh, of his playing cards, um, and you guys like ha um, and he like uh, plays dealer for you guys and teaches you some new uh, card games as well. Um, teaches us how to play blackjack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He teaches you how to play Texas Hold'em. Ooh, I love um, Texas Hold'em. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you guys have a good time. Uh, you see that Scott. And um, and Veronica sort of have a really uh, are really competitive with their playing cards with one another, uh, especially when they're gambling against one another. Oh um, God, we brought gambling into this. Here we go. Yeah, it's not like some big gambling. They're not really. No, uh, I mean the competitiveness. Here we go. Yeah, their competitiveness though. That's the way. Uh, and in the end. Uh, Scott is just a much better gambler than Veronica and definitely proves out that his uh, experience and his skill. Uh, and a hell of a uh, poker face. And a hell of a poker face. Like, his poker face is insane because of how much he can change his face when he feels like he needs to. Just for whatever he's doing. May as well be wearing a mask. Yup. Pretty much. <laughs> um, but Veronica does like see through his lies every once in a while and gets him. It's just, he's just too experienced. He's got too much knowledge and too much, uh, too much on his side that helps him out in the end. And he ends up like, he ends up uh, winning a lot of their matches, uh, winning a lot of their games. Um, Maybe I should have put yeah. Scott on the possibility list <laughs> at the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> Scott is very... Scott might not be the... He's not the... He's got good charisma, good intelligence, and good um, and good wisdom. Because he's got the most experience of his team. He's probably the best talker of his own team. And he's actually... Aside from Veronica... He's the smartest member of his team. Yeah, you've said. Hands down. Like, hands down, the smartest member. Um, other than Veronica. Veronica is, like... <laughs> Veronica either matches or beats him. But she's not nearly as wise as him or charismatic. Lyriel's pretty charismatic herself. She's got a whopping 18 in charisma. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> wait, sorcerers are charisma casters. Yeah. She needs that so, charisma. Yeah, so that that would make sense. Um, but for Scott, like one of his other one of his highest skills is his charisma, uh, other than his intelligence and his dex. Oh his yes, baby. Skill, he's got he's got a twenty in his charisma. By the way, she's got an eighteen. But I did just roll a whopping 24 for performance. Nice. What are you doing? I'm going to play some flute. Just chill. Play some flute. That's the yeah. only instrument she has. She's It's the only instrument she's prof like proficient in. Uh, in between card games and uh, people just chat and you play the flute for a little while. And like people just come around and just listen for a bit. Just, you know. It's a nice. Everyone has a good time. It's not the discordant tune, but it is a very nice, like, soothing tune. Mm -hmm. She just likes to play the flute every now and again. It's been a bit. Can't get rusty. Yeah. 
You play some flute. Have a good time. Good, good time. I don't think she's... Well, other than in the museum, I don't think she's really ever played the flute for Hazel yet. The only time he's actually listened to her play is when she was having, like, a mental breakdown. <laughs> so this is a better way. <laughs> this is a better moment for playing the flute, yes. Yeah. Indeed. Just sits on top um... of the table. <laughs> Playing the flute. Uh, as you do, um, do this. Um, it's not bad. Um, you see that Scott does like a little dance, uh, almost looking like a serpent as he does so. <laughs> <laughs> and like your, uh, like your snake. Uh, <laughs> Hey, he well, does have a it, he it? does have like a serpent like tattoo, which is yeah. I, other than Josh. Does anyone else have a tattoo? Um, Josh has a tattoo. Scott has a tattoo. Um, Monday has a tattoo. What? Yeah. Where is it? Because he's barely wearing anything right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's got uh fangs. Um, on his, uh, on his right shoulder. Interesting. Like a full set of teeth? Yeah. Interesting. I... Lyriel kind of wants a tattoo now. <laughs> Between <laughs> yeah. Josh's head tattoo, his shoulder tattoo, and Scott's, like, full arm tattoo, she's just, like, eyeballing these tattoos, like, hmm, how could I piss off my mother further? <laughs> Tattooed boy. Um, yeah, she's kind of into know that, tattoos. <laughs> you know that Hazel has no tattoo. Mostly because his body is or his skin is already kind of a tattoo. Yeah. He's already but, got pretty designs. You said it. his stars move. Like, if he actually had a tattoo, would they just avoid the tattooed area? Or if he had a no, scar, would it just go no, over it? Um... The, the scar would go over all of the like stars. So they'd sort of like get cut in half as as they moved around. Yeah. Starry boy. Yeah. Starry boy. No, but she still is kind of into tattoos. So. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you don't know many of the girls who have a tattoo. Uh, Veronica doesn't. Riley kind of does. It's her tribal marks. Mm hmm Uh, well, Veronica has her face, uh, marking. Her elven, her elven tattoos, yeah. Big does not. Nebit does. Is that her eye of raw that is, is that tattooed onto her? Or does she actually she's have a different... Eye of, she's got an eye of raw, and she's got an ankh. Uh, on her um, lower left arm. Nice. Mm -hmm. She wants to be princess carried by Nebit more. Because <laughs> the entire time they were walking back, she was just talking about the recent uh, like romance novel she had just finished and making recommendations <laughs> quietly. And she was just quietly like, I just started novel and it's been I can't great. I can't hear you. She just uh Nebit's just been like she started a new novel and it's been great. I have you we have to read it together. We should start a book club. We should start a book club. We should start I've a book club. I've been wanting to start a book club do forever. You think, do you think Donnie would join? He is a writer bard, isn't he? He likes a lot more uh, I'm not sure if he's that into romance. I always see him writing and reading like horror novels and like mysteries. Hey, you can have a romance mystery. Ooh, maybe we could get him into like making a romance horror genre. Isn't that technically what vampire stories are? Or the creature maybe. from the Black Lagoon. <laughs> Ooh. Sure, I can chat with him. See if he's interested. Yeah. Hmm. Well, Riley wants me to go to the gym with her, so maybe I can drag her to the book club. If she wants me to work my body, I'm going to make her work her brain. 
Oh, also, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, you gotta ask Dan about that. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll talk to him. But um, I also like to think that when uh I was playing like the flute, um Riley and Fig were like pseudo ballroom dancing, except Riley has completely lifted her off the ground. He's standing. <laughs> standing on Riley's feet. No, no, she she's actively like up at her chest level, but her legs are like swaying around. <laughs> Cuz she, she's so short and they're just laughing. It's great. Everyone loves it except Veronica. <laughs> just is trying to she's having fun, but she's just ignoring Fig as much as she can and Fig is just she knows to stay away from her. Going to have to unravel that knot sometime. Yep. I am so intensely the, curious about that they, little plot they, line. They do, they do, however, during like poker, um, um, when they do end up playing together, like at times it seems like they're uh, they're both like it. It seems like they don't want. Uh, at least Veronica doesn't want to, but it seems like they do are having a little bit of fun together every once in a while. Hmm. Hmm. Even though they're trying not to. So I'm guessing at some point help, they help. were friends. You just assume? Yes, that is an assumption. They were at least friends or on friendlier terms. Box. Oh man. So, uh, uh, did yeah. we did we buy twenty individual candles or just a two and a zero? <laughs> you <laughs> bought a two and a zero. Damn. Hazel realized that that would be Hazel's mostly. Um, Fig initially wanted to get twenty candles, but Hazel, but uh, not Hazel. Monday was like, yeah, no, I don't want to burn. I really don't want to burn now to this gazebo. It's kind of my favorite spot to hang out. <laughs> oh, fine, potty pooper. <laughs> Lyriel totally wanted 20 individual candles. <laughs> he knows, and he's not okay with that. <laughs> he already has big. one mischievous... He, has, he already has one mischievous little friend to deal with. He doesn't like the idea that they're multiplying... <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> Just looks at looks at big gremlin time. Uh, but yeah, uh, you guys bring out a big cake, and you sing happy birthday to Hazel, who's pretty uh, dumbstruck and is having a great time. I, um, is, does he get embarrassed like everybody does when they have to have happy birthday sang to them? Um, yeah, actually, he does, because he's never had his, all of his friends like this. Uh, How did the so monks celebrate birthdays? Yeah. They did the same. So, um, he, it, it's nice, um, you could actually ask Hazel about this. But, oh, okay. Um, oh, no, I'll, yeah. I'll, she'll ask when they're alone together later. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, he blows up the candle. Uh, you all get your slices of cake and have a good time eating some tasty cake. Um, and then, you know, we'll start peeling off one at a time. And, you know, start heading out to do their respective uh, things. And you and Hazel go back to Hazel. Well, we're going to clean up first, obviously. No, also... I mean, of course, that, that happens. As, as, uh, as the, the whole group sets. is there as that happens. Also, as the sun goes down... Riley, uh, Lyriel slips Riley the uh, glitter bomb, and then just points upward. He yeets that bitch into the sky. Hell <laughs> yeah! <laughs> um, or at least she attempts to, but it doesn't actually go that far because she didn't roll that high. Well, it um, doesn't need to go terribly far. However. Fig, seeing you do this, goes, <gasps> wait, and then grabs the glitter bomb from her, from uh, her pocket, and just tosses that up into the air way higher than Riley did. 
<laughs> Bet you didn't think about that, huh? <laughs> Found that out. Um, at some point, you can use them as fireworks. <laughs> Boom, boom. And uh, everyone else who has a glitter bomb, including uh, Monday, Veronica, even Hazel. Oh, well, Hazel doesn't have anything. No, he doesn't have uh, one. Monday, anymore. Veronica, Josh. Uh, yeah, they toss their glitter bombs up in the air. Oh, no, what have I started? <laughs> uh, Everybody's getting None of them actually end up that. Yeah, none of them actually end up that going that low. Um, they're all actually able to throw them pretty high. Only Riley throws a bit. Low. Rip. <laughs> yeah. They're it kind of all... hit the top. It kind of hit the top of the gazebo and like went off course a bit. And then <laughs> everybody is just getting covered in glitter. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> Billy's running away with his with his grill so it doesn't get coated in glitter. Oh, did anybody bring anything for Hazel? Uh, yeah, actually, um, they each, uh, some of, some people actually give some gifts to Hazel. Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, Monday has a silver ring that he hands Hazel, which he very carefully hands Hazel, as he can't touch silver, really. It's tied with, like, a string? <laughs> <laughs> no, he, it's in a box, so it's in a, it's in a, uh, it's actually in a package. He hands him over a silver ring. Um, uh, Josh, uh, comes when, over when she sees it, and, uh, gives him kinda... a new, hmm? Josh comes over and gives Hazel a new baseball glove and is like, hey, we should hit the, um, we should, uh, Hit the squares, um, the diamonds sometimes, and throw a ball around. Um, what, um, when Lyriel sees that, what him hand over a ring, she kind of just like comes up right behind him, and in his ear goes, "Do I have to worry about something here?" <laughs> to Monday. <laughs> and Monday's just look, dear, I ain't making moves on your man. All <laughs> <laughs> right, aren't you? She's <laughs> got like her fingers, uh... like slightly wrapped uh, around his head. <laughs> I, as the leader of his... <coughs> hey, stop touching me. <laughs> I, as now the she's leader... Like, tapping on <laughs> I, as the leader of his team, decided uh, I've been seeing him get injured a lot, so I decided I'd uh, uh, um, and then she, uh, she whispers... work off a, a bit of a extra work to make sure he gets a little extra defense. What is uh, that ring should be able to help him out. Uh, it's a ring of shield. It allows him to okay. cast shield as a reaction. Oh, super. I got him a ring of protection. That'll help him out, too. Yeah. Fist bump. Fist bump. Hell yeah. <laughs> and she pinches his cheek and goes... <laughs> and then ducks out before he can, like, swipe at her. Ooh, Monday or Hazel? I pin I'm pinching Monday's cheek as a thanks. <laughs> You are not fast enough to duck, um, <laughs> duck out as he grabs your hand and is just like, hey, none of that. Six <laughs> tongue out. No, none of that before pinching you and then letting you go. <laughs> <laughs> she laughs. She just giggles and runs away before anything else can happen. Gosh darn gremlins. They're everywhere. <laughs> Fig pokes her head up at the end of the table. Just somebody say gremlins. Just, just, um, just, her, just see like the the edge of her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> um, big hands over. Um, what's it called? Mm -hmm. What's it called? Big. Sorry. Um, fig. Uh, hands Hazel, a uh, very large box that's bigger than her. Um, <laughs> he opens it up to reveal a guitar. Nice. Yeah. And she's just like, yeah, we should play together sometime. Make don't, a bang hand. Don't you play the drums, Fig? Yeah. I hear you crashing at sometimes early in the morning. 
Yeah! I don't even need an alarm. <laughs> it's great. Yeah! I'm doing a service for them. Yes. I mean, not that everyone appreciates it. I appreciate it. Looking, at, looking you, directly Phil. at Monday as, he, as she says that. And Monday just looks back at her like, God damn it. <laughs> Lyriel puts her hand on Fig's shoulder and says, I appreciate you, Fig, and your wonderful drums. At least someone does. Thanks, Lyriel. <laughs> <laughs> then she shoots an evil look over at Monday. You should really... And then as she's looking him at him dead in the eye, she's like, you should really incorporate more of your symbols. That, high, that nice high-pitched metal sound is, really ties it together. Huh? I'm already exhausted of all you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> uh, Scott hands over um a gauntlet to you, um, to Hazel, and is like, "Yeah, this will uh, help you out with your luck." With his luck? Mm-hmm. Uh, the gauntlets have um, horseshoes. Um, what they do is, on a missed attack, he can re-roll. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. But he must take the new roll, even if it's lower than his first. Yeah, I've, I've heard of those kind of rolls. Yeah. It's basically like having a luck point on his gauntlets. And they can only be used once per roll. Yeah, that checks out. So if you're gonna hit a nat one, you might as well re-roll. Yeah. Lyril's just, Which, Lyril's just with all the back luck, bad luck points that I throw onto him, we need it. Lyril's just sitting there, just patiently waiting. I don't and know. If... Gives him a, a book. Uh, uh, well, not a book. Uh, she hands over a movie. What? Uh, she hands over a movie, a new, um, a new martial arts movie for Hazel to watch. It's just like, we should check this out in the common room sometime. Uh -huh. Yeah, everyone gives over some gifts, and they can hang out for a bit. And Lyriel just, um, she's waiting. She, she hasn't said anything about her gifts, but she knows where they are. Okay. Um, do you want to give the gifts while you're there, or no? No, remember, they're in Hazel's room. Gotcha. Uh, the party begins to disperse. Uh, people do some clean- um, everyone does some cleanup. Ha ha ha! Um, press the <laughs> Yep. Uh, some press digitation, some normal cleanup. Uh, you know, Billy's helping out, taking care of some stuff. Um, and then they all head back to their dorms. Uh, you had to uh, head back to you, Hazel's dorm. Um, and yeah, uh, what do you do when you get there? Well, on the way, she asks him if he had fun. Yeah, I had a great time. <laughs> I had fun with all with all my friends here. It reminds me of uh, being home. I was kind of scared when I was coming here, actually, the first time, because uh, I'm so far away from the monastery for the first time. And, um, you know, I didn't really know anyone here, but, you know, Monday and Scott really, you know, they hang out with me and they treat me pretty well. Uh, Fig and Josh have been good to me too. And I got you. And it's like, I have my own little family here too. How did you celebrate nice. your birthday at the monastery? Uh, kind of like this. Yeah. Um, my monastery... I've told you about how my uh, teacher was pretty strict, but though he believed in tough love during celebrations and during like enjoyable moments, he was in a very soft side. He was good to me. Uh, so were the rest of the members of my class area. We are, we were a family. We are still a family. Um, and we all, you know, had birthdays. Maybe not. It's fun as this one, but it's pretty fun in our own way. Hmm, that sounds really nice. I personally couldn't wait to get away from the house. It didn't really matter if I didn't know anyone. Just being able to 
Mm. Well, go wherever I want, whenever I want is very nice. Yeah. Going outside And being is around nice. and choosing to be around people you want to be around is also pretty nice. Just interacting with people is nice. <laughs> Just like an exasperated, huh? Um, yeah. She. I don't know. She's still not super comfortable talking about home yet, but she will be eventually. I don't think, uh, as it stands right now, I don't think she's mentioned too much about uh, her home life, other than. She alludes to something that happened, and the fact that she w never really left the house. Yeah. Um, Hazel doesn't cry too much, just because he knows that uh, it either makes you feel uncomfortable or that you don't like to talk about it too much. So he just respects your space and doesn't cry. Yeah. He has at least that much intuition. <laughs> She'll get there, eventually, but <laughs> she doesn't want... I don't know. I I'm. Hmm. I haven't quite decided how to even broach the subject. If he asked, she might, depending on her mood, tell him more. If he was really that curious, but she would rather pretend she doesn't have a home. <laughs> well, I mean, she still loves her dad. He was good to her when he was around. <laughs> but yeah. She is. Other than that, oh, she likes she likes hearing about Hazel's time at the monastery, though. Hello. Hello. Um, Hello. What do you do? Hello. 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 Oh, there you are. Hello. Hi. Did you say? Did you hear me at all? Yeah, I heard you. Oh, okay, did you say anything in response? Um, in response to... Uh, just how she prefers to listen to Hazel talk about his time at the monastery. Yeah. Um, I said that was nice. I mean, yeah. Um, Hazel, like, goes on for a little longer, uh, talking about his time in the monastery and, like, the things that he's been through. Does, um, does he bring up the lake at family. all at any point? Uh, yeah, he does. He uh, talks about um, during his training, they um, would stay on the lake. And the lake would, um, the lake uh, during certain parts of the year were so calm that they perfectly reflected the stars above. Um, and that's really where the... Uh, the monastery got its name and tradition for performing astro monk abilities. Um, and they uh, really, um, and he always loved spending his nights just staring out at the lake, looking she, at, uh, at the lake and seeing the reflection of the sky. She kind of like alludes to wanting to see it herself. Mm -hmm. Uh, she doesn't want to like impose or anything like that. She is it is his home? Oh, no. he absolutely is like part way through. I should absolutely take you there some one day. It's so beautiful. It's really a sight to see. Okay, first two things. I would absolutely <laughs> die to see that. It sounds so wonderful. Two, um, I can't swim that well. <laughs> You don't have to swim. I mean, okay, just good. get by the lake and just see all the calm, pretty ocean. Yes, but I also kind of really want to try swimming some more. Okay. Well, if you want to practice swimming, we can. I can't hear you. If you'd like to practice swimming, we can practice swimming together. All I heard was I'm practice. Boy, I hate my interwear. Your internet wasn't nearly this bad when I was there. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I've been having a lot of <laughs> internet issues myself lately. 
I don't know if it's my internet. I don't know if it's your internet. I don't know if no, it's my headphones. I, I don't know if it's your headphones. Look, it's definitely not my headphones if everyone else <laughs> hears you the same way I do, darling. It's annoying. I mean, also, it's I have been constantly monitoring Discord, and my voice connection has not dropped at all for once. Neither is, neither is mine, which is weird. I keep Every time you say that I'm dropping, I'm like, my connection's been perfectly fine. This time. Yeah, but I'm not the not only person. On. If it was just me that was, was hearing you act all funny, I would consider it my computer, but I'm not the only person. Yeah, I know. But, um... That's why I'm confused, because sometimes you guys say that I'm dropping, but, like, I look at my Discord and it's like, no, I'm, I'm good. I don't know what's going on. But, yeah, she would totally be interested in having him teach her how to swim, but only if there's nobody else around. <laughs> She's kind yeah, of absolutely. shy about not knowing how to swim. Um, he'd be totally down to teach you how to swim. Um, and yeah, you guys get to his room. What do you do when you get there? Oh, there's a bag sitting on his bed. Oh, okay. Uh, he kind of looks at it and looks at you as like, for me? No, it's it's for somebody else's birth. No, it's for, obviously for you. <laughs> she pokes him. Oh, uh, okay. Pokes him right I in guess the nose. If it's for someone else's birthday. No, huh? Rough. <laughs> uh, he goes over and opens up um, his gift. What is inside? Um, okay, so there's a couple of individually wrapped uh, items. There's also... Hold on, let me roll this individually. Um... Let me get a shiny die for this. Because shiny means it works better. <laughs> <laughs> it means it works better. Wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> so one of the things is a plastic container with a singular cupcake. I rolled in 13 again on survival. <laughs> to it's a pretty decent. It's a little a burnt. And the icing might have shifted a little bit. Yeah, it's it's a, just a little little crusty. It's not that bad. Um, yeah, that ended up a little more toasty <laughs> than I planned. <laughs> he still eats the entire thing without any hesitation. Okay. <laughs> well. Good. You, she, she motions to like the side of his face where there's probably like a shitload of icing. <laughs> there is indeed. He sort of wipes it off. <laughs> oh, he yeah, that's right. It. He's got a long tongue. Is that a, that's a tiefling thing, right? Yo. That hmm. is indeed a tiefling thing. Hmm. Hmm. Yo, I, I don't exactly know. What is like an. What is con what constitutes a long tongue, by the way? Um, a tongue that reaches below the chin. Okay, I will keep that in mind. Actually, I need to make a note of that. No, wait, I'm recording this. This is fine. I'll be able to remember. Mhm. Mm because most people can't. Uh, how most people don't have their tongues reach below their t um chin. Um, I can't even reach below my chin. Yep. And most people also can't um, don't have tongues that can reach their nose, the tips of their nose. I, I, I absolutely cannot reach the tip of my nose. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so any um, someone with a long tongue is usually someone who can reach the bottom of their chin or the tip of their nose. Ah, so most tieflings can do that then. Yep, easily. Okay, keep that mm -hmm. in mind. Heck, some tieflings have forked tongues that um, almost look like a sneak Oh, tongue, yeah, which... there, it's a variant trait, isn't it? Yep, which go even further than just a chin. Nice. Can they mm -hmm. smell with their tongue? I would assume so. Does that mean they don't have noses? No, they still have noses. <laughs> just extra olfactory senses? Yup. Nice. <laughs> yup. <laughs> Okay. Um, so, one of the packages is kind of squishy. It feels like clothing. Hmm. I wonder what this could be. 
You said a uh, ghee is usually made of like a rougher texture, right? Yep. Okay. I. It needs to be solid enough to protect you as wear, and also absorb um, sweat. Oh, okay. I've never gotten a chance to study martial arts, so I'd never worn one. Mm -hmm. uh, I did karate when I was a kid. Usually it's it's kind of stiff, uh, but it's like well padded and it really fits well on your body. Um, it's meant to like soak up a lot of your sweat and, you know. It, Not it, weigh you down? It doesn't weigh you down at all. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so the gi inside is black uh, with a silver trim. Not like shiny, because that would be awful for somebody who has to stealth. <laughs> uh, but it's like a couple shades um, lighter. You know what I mean, right? It's not. It's like a lighter gray as the mm -hmm. piping. Yeah, I got you. Okay, okay. I got you. Like a cool gray. Yes, like a slate, sort of. Mm -hmm. Think Scott's skin tone, but maybe a couple shades darker. Okay. Um, and by the pocket on the pants is a very obviously <laughs> hand-sewn little ladybug. Because we're starting the, the good luck charm thing now. I kind of look at you, uh, look at the little ladybug and like, oh, this is so cute. Thanks, um, babe. Um, yeah. I'll wear this around. I, I've actually been meaning to get a new gi. Uh, mine's been kind of falling off me. Oh. Is, is it just old or not fitting yeah. right? It's been a while since I've had this retailered. So this is actually kind of nice. Yeah, thanks. Kind of nice. Hmm. Is th What's that? So what's up? <laughs> I, I, uh, kind of nice implies that it's not that great or that nice. Just kind of nice. Callie, stop reading into things too much. <laughs> I can't help it. That's just how I the am. The boy likes the thing that you made him. Okay. Lady... Stop reading into I it too much. I can't help it. Unnecessary. You are, you are driving yourself crazy. Yeah, a little bit because it's just how... It's just me, okay? I... It's just kind of how I react to certain things. Sorry. Okay. I lost my train of thought. I did too. Oh, yeah, ladybugs are uh, considered a sign of good luck. Yeah, I know. No, she was telling him that. Oh. I just I just forgot the accent for a half <laughs> for, a, for a hot second. Well, that should uh. Huh. I actually didn't know that ladybugs were a sign of good luck. I know that they're like horseshoes and uh, four of the clovers and things are good luck. But no ladybugs. Oh, there's um quite a few things that are considered signs of good luck. The number seven, the number eight, uh, albatrosses, birds flying in formation from right to left, maneki neckos, hmm. um, oh, wow. pigs. Um, do you ever see... You ever go get Chinese food and they have the little kitty and it's waving its paw at you? Cal, be real, I've never seen one. Never seen the beckoning I've cat? Seen, I think I've seen that in like a in a TV show once, but I've never seen that in real You've life. You've literally never not seen once. a Monaki Neko? Nope, absolutely not. I've only seen it in a TV show, and I thought it was like, oh, this is a, that's a cute little thing, but it's not like people actually have those. No. I thought it was just shops, like a little... Shops have them around here a lot. Um, they, there's also a lot of them in Philly, and some people have them in their houses. They're, they're beckoning fortune cats. Each different color means something different. There are different colored Maneki Nekos. Maneki Nekos. There's white, there's gold, there's pink, there's red. Gold is the most um, usual one because it's beckoning fortune, like money fortune. So obviously shops are going to want that particular one. Red is for good health. 
pink is for love, you know. Yeah. Oh my gosh, what is this? I just wanted to share this just because. <laughs> okay. Um, oh yeah, I added one thing. Or two things. Because I just thought it was funny. There's another pair. There's another present. It feels squishy too. It, it, he opens it up. It, it's uh, a More pair closed? of... Another bee? No, it's a pair of purple boxers with stars on them. One oh! Sec. And then he goes, he goes into Hold his on. closet. One sec. Grabs, one uh... sec, babe. One sec. <laughs> Give me one sec. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Dot dot dot. Oh. Okay. Well, I see what you're doing. Uh, oh yeah, you saw that picture I sent you from before, from the uh, yeah. how not to wake your night owl girlfriend. Same. Yeah. Uh, uh, same uh, boxers. Yeah. Okay. He goes into his closet, grabs an up of. Um, he has the same kind of boxers except they're white. <laughs> uh, white background and stars. I thought purple would look yeah. nice on you. Well, they're both my style, so this works. <laughs> <laughs> trying to, like, bite her, like, knuckle because it's so cute. Oh, God. Um, one of them is square-shaped. One of the stars? No, one of the next presents. Okay. It's kind of it hard. It. Ominously. Ominously. Sort of. Hmm. Hmm. And then he rips it open. <laughs> it's a scrapbook. Well. She's been surreptitiously taking photos, and whenever she takes, like, pictures of the two of them, she sends them off. There's a couple of websites, actually, that will make you scrapbooks if you send them a certain amount of photos, and then you can ask for extra X amount of pages so that you can fill them in as you go as you like oh really cute yeah we can keep some of our own uh, of our memories in here um, there's two pressed flowers in there one is obviously a red primrose and the other is a blue uh, lily she likes to press flowers she dries them and presses them and they're in the front there cuz um you can press flowers, it flattens them, and then a lot of scrapbooks will have a plastic cover so you can slip something inside of it. So if you glue them down gently, very gently, and then replace the plastic, it can. that's the, what the cover looks like. Yeah, you can customize your covers. I've thought about getting into scrapbooking, but it's just, there's too much of it. <laughs> there's too much that goes into it. <laughs> I'd overwhelm myself because <laughs> there's you can there's stamps to cut out letters, other stamps, glitter, you know, all this extra shit. But I feel like Lyriel would put the effort into it for Hazel. Well, it's just something, it. yeah, it's just something they can fill out as they go. Ah, come, no, did you die? Did my pen die? Why? Uh, but yeah, she thought it would be cute. Hoped it, the, like, so if she has to leave on a mission or if he has to leave, one of them could just keep it. Yeah. And then just fill out whatever memories there are in it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. there's a there's a slot for, like, there's a page for, like, first Halloween or just, like, Halloween. It just says Halloween. It's, like, orange and black letters and some pumpkin glitter. I have no idea what they would even wear for Halloween, but she wants to capture these sort of moments. And there's one that says Christmas, uh, New Year's. Would Thanksgiving be something that... Nah, that's not really something you care much about unless one of you goes home to see meet the other's parents for the first time. Yeah, also... Uh... Huh. Thanksgiving in my world? Yeah, I was about to ask, is there even Thanksgiving in your world? <sighs> is there, like, a Christmas-ish tradition there is a christmas ish to just, just does just, santa uh, exist in your always... world uh yes of course does he the easter bunny the easter bunny exists so sort of santa oh my god santa's a real person in your world 
I mean, maybe. <laughs> to all the kids who believe in him. Is his name Kyote? <laughs> I mean, just gonna say it. Yeah, but there's like little things for that. Um, it doesn't go too far ahead because, well, I guess it stops at like Valentine's Day. Because hmm. you can't really think of any other. Because <laughs> that's like a full year. That's like the year. And then the rest of the pages are blank. Hmm. But they're all nice. kind of. They make like sticky, crinkly noises because they all stick together slightly because it's all like this weird plasticky stuff to hold to protect your pictures. It's not a super big scrapbook. I'd say it's journal sized. Okay. It's not like one of those huge ones that you see that with that have like, hey, quit licking your paws, hoagie. That some people make, like those absolute monstrous ones. But it's a it's a decent sized one. It can be slipped Noise. into a bag. Uh, okay. Um, so that was that. So those are the two I added, the underpants and the photo album. <laughs> uh, let's see. Some cute stuff. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, one is another small box. At the bottom, there's another small box. It looks like the box Monday gave him. No, okay. Uh, he kind of opens it up and sees what's inside. This is also a silver ring. Only Lyriel can pick it up. <laughs> yep. Uh, so. And did you and uh, Monday get the same idea? Um, I guess we were kind of on the same wavelength with this. His is different. Um, he said his was a re uh, la, 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 la. his was a ring of shielding, which is very helpful. I I know shield and. Well, it didn't save me from Scott, but it definitely is handy. Um, yeah, I wouldn't suspect it'd save you from Scott. <laughs> no, he definitely knocked my ass out in one hit. It was awful. And it burned. Yeah. Yeah. I, nope, didn't hear a word you said. Uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's real good at what he does. Uh, yeah, I probably should have warned you. Stay away from that one. I... Didn't even see him, darling. He... I, yeah, I found that's Donnie. That's the worst part about it. I found Donnie. Did not find Scott until he smashed me in the back of the head. Hmm. He must have been using Donnie as a bit of bait. Could have been. They could have been separate, and I have no idea where he was, to be completely honest. Even Novus mm. couldn't find him. Yeah, that, that guy is, uh... Very quick and... Very good at what he does. Yeah, I uh, hope we don't have to fight them again when we get to the actual tournament. I yeah. hope I don't. Yeah, I hope so too. I hope I don't have to fight my brother. Uh. Oh. Yeah. Yes, my brother goes to this school too. Oh. No. Hmm. Uh, what's his name? <sighs> Samus. Hmm. I don't think I've met him. You're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> she makes like this grumpy looking face. <laughs> kind of. Not on good terms? Oh, I wouldn't say that. He just has this. You ever, you ever see anybody who has a very outward persona that they project for others but are completely different uh, otherwise? Mm, yeah. Yeah. That's Samoth, but cranked to an 11. Yeah. He's I mean, that's big to a T. Oh, really? What's she like otherwise? You should go, maybe... Uh, I'll, let, I'll let her tell you more about that. She's a bit... She puts on an act of being very happy, cheerful, and kind of crazy, but she's got her own darkness in her. I think everyone does. Well, it's it's a pretty uh pretty well there though. No, when did you get oh, such okay. good insight? And she squishes his cheeks. Not insight. I just we hang out a lot and 
Which is not a sin thing. Mm. Well, you know, I'd love to come with you guys on a mission sometime and maybe I could get a chance to talk to her one-on-one. -on -one. Hmm. Maybe. Oh, come on, that would be fun. Yeah, I know. Uh, if we ever have a mission together, um, if we ever have a mission that um, we can grab some extra help for, yeah, I'll let you know. Oh, lovely. I mean, if you need destructive, raw destructive power, I mean, you've seen me in action. Sort of. Mm-hmm. You got... And not... Yeah, that fireball is... A... <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't feel like getting knocked around by Riley for not one for not <laughs> uh, casting it. Also, you did get knocked out before I actually really started to go off. Did you know? Yeah. It, did you know it was me and Hans at the end versus Monday and Joshua? I can believe you, but that Hans guy—he's just hard to read. That is concerning. Very I was actually surprised funny. that you guys beat Monday. You must um, not have gotten in. Uh, you must not have gotten in close enough. No. Another person who has a very different personality sometimes. I did not let him get close. Corner of darkness. Mm, well, yeah, I could definitely see that. Uh, well, I saw a sword, and I was like, "Well, I'm not getting in close." Have an <laughs> have a chromatic orb. <laughs> yeah, and... that's that's probably. Eh, I mean, not, it's not always the smartest. I Again, know, those incendiary he's... rounds hurt. <laughs> oh yeah, no, he is very good at long range, and I still haven't beaten him in a close range one-on-one -on -one fight. Yeah, I don't want to get really? in very close. I thought about it while I was uh, wild shaped, but oh, you didn't even see that, did you? I don't think she actually no. has gone out of her way to show him. Can, can uh, druids partially so. wild shape? No. Aw, like I can't just make little cute little wolf ears pop up? No, you'd have to be a werewolf for that. Aw, dude, werewolves can do that? What the fuck? Venris can do that, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 I've given you an art idea, didn't I? Yes. <laughs> Venris pretending to be stoic, but her tail pops out and it's wagging behind her. She's happy. And ears. Um. Oh, yes, I can wild shape now. Well, I can take one wild shape now. Did you start druid? I think so. I don't. I don't have a focus. I guess I can just cast druid magic somehow. That's cool. Yes, I usually, from what I've well, what I've read is most druids have a naturalistic focus, and then they use that to draw, you know, druid magic from. Uh, I don't have one. <laughs> hmm. That's weird. And I actually haven't chosen. What do they call them? Circles? I actually haven't chosen a circle yet. Uh, but I can still take one wild shape form. Hmm. I don't know that much about druids. Me but it'll either. Sound pretty cool. I'll show you sometime if you want to see it. Yeah, of course. Actually, she tries to. She was sitting on the bed with him. She tries to, like, detach herself. I just do it real quick. Okay. Um, backs up. Tries to get... Uh, how big... You said it, Okami is like, what, five feet long? Five feet yeah. high? Medium? Yeah. Uh, considered a medium creature. Okay. Yeah, that... Uh, a dorm room should be enough... Well, based off the picture I sent you, I think there should definitely be enough room between the... Desk and the bed, if she moves back a bit towards the closet. And she will do a quick wild shape. Okay. Uh, you wild shape into Nokami. He is just, ooh, you can be a big wolf. 
And he just comes over and gives you scratches. She licks him upside the face. <laughs> and then continues. And then continues to scritch. He starts to scritch your belly. Yes. And then she, in the, the middle of the belly scritches, she turns back. <laughs> her hands are just behind her head, like. <laughs> oh no, you can keep going. Well, this, well, this is a new position. <laughs> well, it's belly rubs. <laughs> is it really? She continues to give you more belly rubs. And such. She's ticklish, so. <laughs> if he doesn't stop, she's going to try to bite him. He will not stop. Playful bite time. <laughs> Playful bite back. <laughs> she just, just like at the carnival, she just latches onto his hand. <laughs> Makes a fake little growl. <laughs> She's like trying to be intimidating. Hold on, let me actually roll an intimidation. Okay. Uh... Let's pick... Ooh, let's take the sparkly one. Sparkles are good. Because it's fun time. abso fucking not. <laughs> What's my intimidation? Hold on. It doesn't matter. She rolled a nat one. My yeah, it doesn't matter at all. You, you attempt to do intimidate, but at this point, you have just turned yourself into a cuddly creature. That only wants hugs. You are about as intimidating as a teddy bear. Yeah, her human form isn't very intimidating. Just at this point, he's not even—he's not even terrified of you in your old commie form. Just no, oh. she turned back. E I got that. Yeah, not. Um, yeah, he's not even scared of Okami. <laughs> no, pretty, unthreatened. Pretty completely unthreatened. Pretty eyed wolf. And then she just turns back, bites his hand, and tries to make, like, a growl. And it's just so... <laughs> not threatening at all. Yeah, that he's just fine with every... He's fine with every moment of this. She's like, aw. She thinks she's scary. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't scare a bunny. <laughs> it's not with a nat one, that's for damn sure. Nope. <clears throat> and she spits his hand out. <clears throat> I do have one more present in the bag for you, by the way. Okay. Well, let's see what you got. It is a long present, and it feels like another box. Well, this one actually right. got wrapped. Uh, he opens it. She, re she resumes sitting on the bed. And inside is just one earring. Hmm. It is... Hmm. A circular piece of... Well, it looks just like her earring. That you probably never noticed the entire day. <laughs> it is a circular piece of jade with red string attached to it. Uh, jade is also considered good luck. Oh, thanks, babe. Now we can match. What, he actually finally noticed? I mean, he noticed earlier. Oh, okay. Just didn't say anything. Just like, oh, new earring. Yeah. Oh, new earring. She does, nice. she does wear a lot of dangly earrings. He probably thought she just lost one of them. <laughs> yeah, at that point, he was just like, eh, probably lost an earring. It's maybe, fine. Maybe I came will, off during volleyball. It. <laughs> <laughs> it was intense. Um, she offers to help put it in. She pulls out one of his studs on his, what was that, the right ear? Left ear was the cuff. Right ear is the two mm -hmm. studs. Yep. It has a small plastic backing. It has, like, a hook. I don't know if you're very familiar with earrings. I am not at all. All right, so some of them have, like, a long hook uh, that can go entirely through the ear, and they come down around, so it sits like a U in the ear. Some hmm. of them have posts. It's just a straight piece of metal. These are the U hooks, and then you take a tiny piece of plastic, and you put it right up against the back of the ear so that the hook doesn't fall out. Hmm. And instead of, and then when she secures it, she just puts the stud in her other ear that doesn't have an earring. Weird. What, the hooks? Yeah, the hooks. The <laughs> hooks. I'll bring a dangly earring and show you. It's kind of, it's kind of creepy looking. Ain't yeah, gonna, sounds like. I'm gonna lie. <laughs> I'll send you a picture. 
It feels weird going into your ear hole. I used to have many more piercings on my ears. A lot of them closed up. I used to have a cartilage piercing. I, I used to have a cuff. Like hmm. Hazel does. But it it closed up. It's not there anymore. Uh, but yeah, now she has his earring. Ha ha. <laughs> Mine. He kind of like goes in and uh, kisses you on the mouth and takes the earring from you. Rude. <laughs> Wait. And then, hmm? huh? What were you gonna say? Then what? And then he keeps kissing. Oh. And he keeps going. She. Oh. Uh, did you did you do know that the earring was in her ear, right? Wait. What? I thought you were talking about the other earring, the this... one for him. No. I thought yeah. you took that one. No. I, I thought you were holding that one. No, no, no. Um, she. Um, took out his stud earring, one of the silver balls, replaced it with the jade earring, and then put the ball earring in her own ear. On the side that does not have an earring. Uh, okay, I was entirely confused. I thought you took out one of his earrings, and were holding the other one, sort of teasing him no. with the new one. No, she would have put it in there for him, because... All he has is post earrings, and hook earrings are kind of weird to put in for the first time. You have to actually okay. angle it. Cause, okay, so it has, like, a straight edge, and then it curves. So you have to put the straight edge in first, and then curve it into your ear. I know I'm making okay. this sound so much more horrific. It sounds horrifying. <laughs> and makes me glad I never pierced my ears. Ah, you could just get away with studs. You don't have to wear dangle earrings like I do. They got Mm -hmm. It's it might tickle, uh, here and there. Uh, you get used to it. Um, <laughs> the stone the stone gets cold, so if uh, you are a little on the warm side, so if it touches against your skin, it's not the icy fingers of death. It's just the earring. <laughs> she startled herself with her own earrings before. <laughs> are you sure it's not the icy fingers? Yeah. <laughs> she pokes him right in the nose. She's like, no, it's not the icy fingers of death. Because it feels like it. <laughs> oh, Lord. He pinches his... She pulls at his cheek a little bit. You are ridiculous. It's not that bad. Eventually, you won't even notice it's there. Actually, would you mind trying the ring on for me? I don't know if it actually fits. It's... Tries it on. It does fit. Oh, good. Huh. Mm -hmm. It would have been a pain to have it resized. So, what this is, I, I actually never explained it. Um, so I've got you a ring of protection. Uh, so it'll help bolster, you make you harder to hit, and help you avoid things better. Nice. I probably need more of that. Honestly, I could use a lot more of that. <laughs> hmm. Well, you don't wear armor, so it can be a little tough. I mean, I'm a monk. I'm just supposed to dodge. <laughs> this should help you dodge. <laughs> I don't need armor. armor. I should just learn how to dodge. That's my teacher likes to tell me. <laughs> you can dodge a wrench. You can dodge a ball. <laughs> um, yes, I actually uh, have one of my own. Since I don't wear armor either. And at this point, um, I can't wear any metal armor. Even if I, I wanted to. One more, but you can wear a metal ring. Mm, it's different. I think it's a little different. Yeah, I'm pretty sure druids can wear rings. Yeah, they can. Because it's made of because it's made of precious metal, not like steel or anything like that. These metals are natural, more natural. Mm. I don't feel like it intervenes with my weird new druidic power. Your connection to the nature. And she holds a hand out and a good berry pops up. Just out of nowhere. He bites good berry. <laughs> I can do that now. Cool. 
Free food. <laughs> oh, okay. Do. Mm. She she has, she starts like tapping her chin. Something up there. Uh, hmm. You are gonna have to remind me what Pluto said about demons. Um, I'll just have you reiterate that via like his voice, quote unquote, when she's trying to explain it to him, because I completely forgot. <laughs> You're in the back of your mind, the same way Professor Oak would tell you not to uh, to not pull something out. <laughs> huh? Not but sorry. Uh, phrase. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> when Professor Oak, like in a in a Pokemon game, tells you to don't do that here, uh, Pluto just <laughs> it's just like omniscient you, Pluto. You hear like omniscient Pluto in the back of your mind. Oh yeah, that thing about demons. Um, Hold on, I didn't I didn't might... get I didn't get to that part yet. I actually have to break the news to him first. Oh, okay. Because if I recalled correctly from the last time we did this, he didn't even know demons are worse than devils. Because the lyrics no, sure he, as fuck didn't, didn't either. <laughs> he's, he still doesn't. Well, she hasn't, Let's be frank. Yeah, well, she hasn't <laughs> mentioned any of it yet, so... Yeah. So she, like, kind of chews a little on the bottom of her lip. I already made the roll earlier, so even now she still has to tell him. Because, you know, got to be steadfast in your resolve and all that jazz. Uh... Hmm. She doesn't want to tell him, but she will. So, do you remember, um, back on our first date, uh, how I offered to help you find out, um, more about what kind of tiefling you are? Yeah. Did you get any news? Yeah, I, I figured it out. <gasps> what kind of tiefling am I? I've been trying to know this for my entire life. Oh. Um, so she pulls out her notebook and points to the alphabet. She goes, so this is called Abyssal. Hmm. Um, I actually spoke to Professor Pluto. Uh, he sort of went on a couple of tangents, muttered to himself, paced around a bit, pulled out a couple books, and then eventually found it, th connecting it through Primordial. It's apparently very old, uh, very... Not very, spoken very, what? Spoken rarely. It's spoken, it's spoken very, spoken inf very infrequently. Very infrequently spoken, because the, uh, this is the this is the language of demons. Okay. So wait, are are demons different from devils? I mean, sounds like the same thing, right? Oh. No, they're they're not even on the same plane of existence. Demons, well, by name of the actual language, come from a place called the Abyss. Um, hmm. not the kind of... Well, I'm pretty sure your progenitor started in the Abyss, but, um, from what Professor Pluto told me, um, wait, would the actual celestial demon he descends from also have similar skin? Is that what gets passed down? Uh, yes. Um, I'm actually doing some writing out for um, You never told me who gave for... him, who told him about the books. I didn't. Um, I'll, uh, and I'll tell you uh, probably in the next session. Because that's actually important enough for everyone to hear. Oh, okay. um, I wrote a few things down for um, and I started with his demon. Okay. Um, so his demon, Tauros demon from the book that you get, Tauros demon, uh, was once, Okay, um, wait, wait, wait. As, so, as you're saying this, it'll be as though she's noodling this to him because, or yeah, bits and pieces um, of it. The demons, um, that, the celestial demons, um, so here is the... Uh, story you get from the um, the book you get got for our celestial demon. A long time ago, when the world was still in its infancy and um, the abyss was still running rampant through other dimensions, 
Um, the chaos and the abyss were still in its creation, and creatures were leaping out from there into other planes and causing massive amounts of havoc. Um, the gods and the devils disliked this immensely because the demons. Uh, would these would these be the Oberus, like the first demons? Yeah, these were like some of the very first demons to spawn. Um, some of the early gods and early devils uh, despised these creatures and did their work to uh, stop them at every turn. And for centuries, they've done this. Um, but their war, um, during their war, they were losing ground against the demons because, well, they were far, um, not just the demons, but also the creatures that come from the chaos itself. Oh, were like so the Tanari? Um, what's the Tanari? Tanari are the race of demons that the Oberus created. And then there's the Lomara, which are basically like the intangible versions and the most recent types of demons. They can possess people. Um, they're like immaterial. They possess people, objects, and they spread evil through them. Like possessed. They're, they're, they're the cause of like the possessed I, items. I, 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 yes. Yes. Um, yeah. So, um, the very first demons, yes, they were, uh, running far more rampant. Um, this is when the material plane was still in its infancy, so there weren't a lot of creatures on the material plane. It was sort of a dark ages, um, where when demons came onto that plane, they would ravage and destroy things around them. And some of these demons have even made their way into the accessional realm and into avarice, and they caused wild amounts of hell in both realms. Um, they, however, noted, um, noted in this book, stayed away from the hereafter as much as humanly possible. The demons despised death, and death as a very concept was disgusting and disordinate to them. Even though they brought death and savagery, they despised it. Um, it is not something that they enjoy or uh, agree with. Um, and the chaos would also spew uh, terrible creatures out that were um, not just from the abyss, not just demons, but apparition creatures from beyond the star um, that would later be from beyond the stars, like Apollos and things like such, um, spread out into other systems and caused as much damage as they could as they were wild and rampant creatures. Um, the gods... Uh, fought against them, and so did the devils. And at some point, the gods and devils formed an alliance um, to fight these demons off. But even that still wasn't enough. So in order to stem the tide, they decided that they would cat some of these demons and observe them. When they'd done so, they had captured 13 select demons um, and began doing testing and experimenting. Um, in the end, they created 13 celestial demons, as they were called. Um, given power and guidance by devils and, uh, and gods to fight other demons and basically stem the tide in this war against uh, the demons and the chaos. Um, they ended up doing their work and defeating many demons and even pushing these demons and the um and the creatures of chaos back to where they came from um and for a century and for a few centuries they were prey um as being like these beastly uh powers um almost uh renounced as godly creatures um or at least something close to the defenders of the heavenly host. Um, but eventually, they each betrayed the, uh, the gods and the devils. And for their betrayal, they were kept in stone. And then just some general overview of demons in general. Uh, I will give you a general overview of specifically the Tauros demons. 
She's uh, still the explaining that... this to him, by the way. This, yeah. is, this is just how this is going right now. Um, the Tauros demon itself uh, came from a demon known as a Goistro. Um, what now? A Goistro. It's a real demon type in 5e. Um, it's a that? sort of G-O-I-S-T-R-O. Goistro. S-T-R-O. Goistro. Goistro. So they basically took demons and modified them? Yep. Interesting. Oh, sorry. I spelled it wrong. Uh, I missed one R. It's G-O-R-I-S-T-R. Oh, okay. I missed an R. Um, Goristra. Um, they are bull-like demons. Uh, they are usually very massive. Um, around 30 feet tall, massive, with hugely broad shoulders, weighing sometimes about 7,000 pounds. Um, they are covered in entire, their bodies are entirely, um, are usually entirely covered in fur and they often wear, um, the spoils of the murdered Fiji, of Fiji, of which they've murdered. Um, these demons, um, in, in fights are often used as siege engines. They're so large that they can smash through the walls of cities, uh, very easily and, are used as battle platforms for smaller demons uh, to ride on. Um, the one that the Taurus demon uh, is derived from was specifically enslaved to uh, Baphomet, uh, the ah, demon. Who, I am familiar you know, with Baphomet. Yeah. Uh, Baphomet was the demon who uh, ruled most of the Gorishtra. Um, Gorishtra. Um, and this That's one a huge was. Bitch. Yeah, he is a huge bitch. He's the prince uh, of this beasts. Group, this Goristro was in service to Baphomet, but was taken by the uh, gods and was captured and taken by the gods and devils and was experimented on and worked on. It was reforged by the devil and given celestial magic. Um, because of this, the demon has a dark blue shade of skin. And a large zodiac symbol of the Taurus on its back. Um, the creature uh, wears golden rings on its legs and arms. It has four arms instead of just a normal two. And it has four proud horns protruding from the top of its head uh, that go long into the sky. Um, so, like, shorter ones in the front and longer ones in the back? Yes. Huh. Mm -hmm. um, the beast was once allied specifically with the god Hera, um, but betrayed her um, among, um, but betrayed her and nearly killed her um, before she uh, had uh, had her um, had him caught in the dark. So if it had stars on its skin, does that mean it didn't have fur anymore? Um, yeah. It had its fur shaped on. That's... I wonder what that would look like. I might very have to... Annoying. <laughs> it would be very annoying for him as a creature. You know... It's cold. It's supposed to have all the fur. Why am I cold all the time? Fuck you! This sucks! Yeah, he's like adorned with golden rings. Uh, on his arms, his legs, and even his uh, horns. Mm -hmm. And he has four shiny horns. Um, which Goistro don't tend to have four uh, arms, babe, just I... the two. Oh, okay, so you said arms, okay. Yes. That just means he gets uh, better hugs and breaks all of your spine at once. <laughs> yes, indeed. Gives the bestest hugs. <laughs> the bestest giant hugs. Uh, that a tw 20 to 30 foot gigantic minotaur can give. Yes. Isn't Baphomet the lord of the minotaurs? Yes. Yes, he is. 
Ah, so if I knew that, I could actually maybe find out more information from Billy. Yep. Well... Maybe. Depends on how much of his own lore that he knows. <laughs> Cares to keep in mind. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it can't hurt to ask. Yeah. But yeah, um... That is what we have currently on the Tauros demons. Since that was the first section you decided to look into. Well, yeah. I'll be writing more for the other demons. Excellent. Um, and then send you an entire... Because I, I have it all written down right now. And I'll send you the entire file once I have all of the other demons written down and all of their descriptions and such. Excellent. Mm hmm So she goes on then to explain about, like why the language scares the shit out of people. <laughs> yeah, I got the vibe that people don't really like this language. It does sound kind of violent. It is. I mean, um, from what Professor Pluto said, it's very dark language, and they don't even have a word for love or anything like that. It's just very, how did he say, hateful. Hmm. Yeah, not sure how much I liked my language. I mean, I thought I was a devil anyway, so. Knowing I'm a demon, doesn't make much difference. Uh, hmm, that depends on who you ask. Um, a lot of people consider demons much worse than devils. Uh, a lot of times when I try to look up things on them, they just get stuff related to cults. I think you'd probably get the same thing as devils, right? Um, actually, information on devils is much easier to find, uh, oddly enough. Yeah. It's like people try to expunge all knowledge of devils in the abyss from even the internet. I guess no one wants people summoning demons. Yes, I hear they are very hot. Well, from what I gather, they are very hard to tame and will absolutely run amok and murder everything. Okay, so that's where I come from. Very concerning, honestly. <laughs> He's got, like, that pensive, <laughs> like, the concern look. But hey, like I said, I thought I came from devils, which, you know, those don't really have a good rap either. Uh, well. Just I comes don't... with being a tiefling, I guess. I suppose. I was going to say, don't most tieflings have a bad rap in general? I probably mm. wouldn't go around mentioning it too much or speaking abyssal yeah I don't. well i mean i don't mind it uh i was actually interested in learning more of it i i could teach you infernal as an as a trade-off well sure that sounds wonderful yes i know yeah, like I said, I know um, a couple languages, uh, Celestial, Elvish, Sylvan, which is what I use to speak to Novus, because she doesn't speak common, um, Infernal, and supposedly, once you learn to be a druid, you can eventually learn to read druidic signs. So I guess I have that to look forward to, if I actually am a druid. Cool. She looks concernedly at her hands. <laughs> Am I a druid? What's going on? I don't even have focus. What the hell's happening? You're a druid, Lyriel. <laughs> <laughs> You're a druid, Lyriel. Stop. I'm gonna dress Pluto like Hagrid and give him a big bushy beard. <laughs> she'll pull his. She'll pull him down and rest his head in her lap and just, you know, yeah, so that's, um, what I found out. She just plays with his hair. I hope it's not disappointing. I mean, it's a lot to take in, but <sighs> a little concerning. Not disappointing. Concerning. Hmm. I mean, I already thought I was one of those really bad things, so knowing that I'm a worse thing is concerning. Oh, there's nothing worse about you in any way, shape, or form. She she takes her fingers and, like, grabs both sides of his face. You are just the cuddliest and sweetest thing I've ever laid eyes on. <laughs> and she squishes his cheeks together. Look at that face. 
<laughs> She's trying to make him feel better in a roundabout way. But now he can't talk because his cheeks are all squished together. And this is solely because I want to draw him with squish face. <laughs> Hell yes. Love, I love that. I love the whole squish of the cheeks thing. Even though he is a little on the thin side, he might not actually have a whole lot of cheek to squish. Lyriel does. She's got a baby face. She's got squishy. She does a squish. She does a squish. Just reaches up and squishes her back. <laughs> squish. No, this is no. It's your turn to get squished, not me. You shall <laughs> <laughs> Can you say Fulmosis? I'm going to bite you. Ferocious. <laughs> 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 I can be scary if I want. Pouts. Sure you can, babe. And she pouts. Sure you are, babe. You're funny oh, scary. scary. Hold on, I'm gonna roll another intimidation. She tries to make a mean face. <laughs> what do we got? That that's a whopping four. She didn't roll a one. Mm. She rolled a two. Yes. Oh, so terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> she bites his ear. He's into it. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, she probably would have known that. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. But, um, other than the last 15 or so minutes, you had a good day? Yeah. The party was nice. It was a good day. <laughs> we, we all worked very hard. I saw that. Thank you, babe. Gives you a squeeze. Do you want to cheat and watch that movie that um, Veronica gave you? Yeah, sure. Hell yeah. yes. <laughs> she you guys flops over and pulls her laptop off laptop off the floor because all of her shit is also in Hazel's room. Yup. <laughs> Monday has two roommates now, essentially. But Max Mon Monday is our roommate, comrade. <laughs> this is our dorm now, comrade. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing in my dorm? No, comrade. This is our dorm. <laughs> <laughs> How did you even get in? Lariel hides her staff behind her back. Uh key. Yes. I have a key. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Copy of the key, obviously. Yes. I'm not using magic every time I come over to break into your door. <laughs> that would be absurd. Incredibly. I don't know what you're talking about. Backs away. <laughs> Moving backwards, <laughs> running into like the garbage can. <laughs> Feeling behind her for Hazel's door hit. <laughs> Trips over garbage can and falls. Ugh. Fuck. <laughs> That was not dignified in any way, shape, or form. Nope. Scooch. <laughs> She'll just put her feet flat on the floor and scooch her way into his room while lying on her back. <laughs> well, I'm already down here. But yeah, she'll grab um, a laptop. They'll watch the movie. What is it? Which movie is it? What is it? What is it? But, can't uh, hear you. I was like, hmm. Can't hear you. Give me a second. <laughs> no, I hear I hear noise, but I can't hear a thing you're saying. I'm not saying anything. Oh, then why is noise popping up? Noise is popping up because sometimes I just make sounds, Callie. Hmm. <laughs> Sometimes I just make noises. We are all aware. Your noises are cute. Thanks. 
you guys watch hmm I was gonna say kill Jill, but <laughs> yes, <laughs> kill Bill Siren because... off in the background. <laughs> yes, you guys watch Kill Jill. <laughs> all right, that's all I had planned for tonight. Yeah, oh, my head hurts. Aw. Then she puts the laptop on the ground and absolutely throws down. Okay. <laughs> Throwing up the horns. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, and that happens. <laughs> Obviously. It's his birthday, for God's sakes. The bow chicka wow wow happens only moments later. <laughs> well, after the movie ends. She's going to at least let him watch the whole movie. And then it's just bow chicka bow wow. And then it's kick the laptop off the bed. During the bow chicka bow No, before. Because if somebody hits their head on that, it's going to hurt. You right. Laptop's made of metal. Ow. No need for concussion. No need for sex concussions. <laughs> no, I think that's the best way to get a concussion. Probably. Yeah. That would fucking hurt, though. Fuck so hard, you got a concussion. <laughs> Does that even work? Don't ask, don't just know. believe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, you want to find out? <laughs> and then, oh, then she does the sweet stuff. Like, she, then she'll take him and just wash his hair for him and stuff. Do, do sweet, yep. nice things. The aftercare. But he has to, like, crouch down or sit on a stool or something so she can reach his hair. She can't reach that high. Yeah, he can sit. He stool. has a place. He brings a stool. He sits. She can, she can give him a scrub and wash his hair for him. Mm hmm It's awkward trying to go around his horns. She's never done that before. What the fuck? How do we do? How, how, what? The hair keeps getting stuck on them. <laughs> Trust ah! me, it's hard enough trying to do my hair on my own. I'm so sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. I keep getting stuck. The horns get in the way all the time. Oh, And unfortunately, there's nothing you can do about that, is there? Nope, not unless he broke off his horns, which that would be painful. I would, she would never, unless it was an absolute necessity for some reason. Never break off a tea flings or horns. They that won't grow hurt. back. They will not grow back, and that is incredibly painful. Yeah, I can only imagine. No pulling a Hellboy here. Unless, for some reason, it's absolutely necessary. Ugh, God. I can only imagine. Like, what would even equivalent be to that? Just purposely breaking your like, arm? Break It'd be like breaking a bone. Yeah. It'd be like breaking your arm and your leg. Well, it would hurt like hell. Yeah, probably. I, I'm pretty sure those horns are pretty hard. It wouldn't even be easy to break. No, not at all. It'd be painful they're... trying to break them. Yeah, I wonder why they're not considered a natural weapon. They are usually. You can make horn attacks. Oh. In fact, uh, Fig has an entire yeah. bit of... Uh, Part of Fig's build is based around her horn attack. Yeah, I remember her headbutting somebody during roller derby. Mm -hmm. Lyriel watched yeah, no. that and laughed. Yeah, no, satyrs get the natural uh, charger uh, as like one of their abilities. They could just dash straight ahead, and as long as they run for ten feet, they can. This is where this is where Okami comes in, and she runs full force and flings Fig off of her comes to a dead stop and Fig just goes flying at the target. Like a missile? Yes. <laughs> it's Fig the missile. Launch me. Hmm? Launch me. Let's go. Launch me. 
I mean, she'd have to say it in Sylvan. Oh, well, I'm pretty sure Lyriel as herself could still... Because it's still her brain, right? She can't talk, but she can still at least understand Common. Huh? Um, yeah, it's not like Polymorph. It doesn't change anything. Yeah, so she would still be able to... She, I think it said that Okami can still under, even understand Sylvan. Yeah. So Okami can understand, uh, understand Sylvan, but can't speak. Yeah, and because it's Lyriel, she can still understand Common. Um, that way, at least Novus can still talk to her. Yep. Yeah. People can speak to you. You just can't speak back. You'll have to read my ears. As your ears move around and clock. And her eyebrows, because I, I did give Okami little eyebrows. So she can have expressions. <laughs> I'm going to drop off for a little bit. All right, darling. I think the boys want to play EDH, so I'll be streaming that in, um, whatchamacallit.